Hi, fourth graders, me again. The last two days, we've worked on multiplication. Today, we're going to switch over to division. In your packet, go ahead and turn to your very first division page. You will see that you have six division equations, all three digit by one digit. Just like we did with multiplication, you're going to get to choose the strategy that works best for you, whether that be partial quotients, area model, or standard algorithm. I'm going to choose partial quotients because that's what I'm most comfortable with, and I'm going to model how I would solve the first one. So, 728 divided by 2. I know that 728 is an even number, so most likely there's not going to be a remainder. I'm going to start with my greatest place value, which is a 7 in the hundreds place, so 700. And I know that two groups of 300, or 2 times 300, is 600, and that gets me awfully close to 728. I'm going to put 600 underneath 728, and I'm going to subtract because division is repeated subtraction. When I subtract those two numbers, the difference is 128. Again, I'm going to think to myself, hmm, what multiplication problem could I use to help me solve this? Well, I know that two groups of 50 is 100. And if I subtract those two numbers, 28. Again, I'm going to think to myself, hmm, how many groups of two do I know will fit into 28 evenly or equally? And I know that two groups of 10 equals 20. Subtract again, and now I have 8. Well, I know two groups of 4 equals 8. Subtract, nothing remaining. So I don't have a remainder, just like I predicted. I'm then going to come over here to my work and add up all of these quotients together. 300 plus 50 plus 10 plus 4. So 364. All of these partial quotients tell me that my final quotient is 364, or there are two groups of 364 and 728. Like I said, you can use any strategy that you're most comfortable with to solve the rest of these division problems. I can't wait to see you when we come back and work on some more division.